Hello there. Hopefully what you're seeing is my GWR Star Class. So let's open up and see what we've got inside. Oh, it's a bit wobbly. I, mean, I think they packed it well. A bit in bubble wrap. And there's the paperwork. They sellotaped it. A little bit heavy. Let's get this bubble wrap off it. Now this is a surprise, it's got these red stripes because you see it says the Railway Museum, I'm talking about the National Railway Museum in York. I didn't realise this, I just had a quick look at the website and it does say it's, it's actually at the uh, Railway Museum in York and that's why it's got these red stripes. So let's take a quick look at the end. Railway Museum, Hornby R3864 GWR Star Class 460 that's a wheel configuration, load star number 4003, minimum radius 438mm and it is DCC ready and it is a 00 gauge load. I'm not too sure if you can read all that, it might be a bit too small writing but there's a bit of info there at the GWR class 460 and it's got the British Railway steam locomotive emblem on it and again it says British Railways you want to pause if you can read it, you want to pause it, you can. And then what we've got here is a says do not scale, we've got all the measurements, the total length, the height, the width, the width of the two front pony wheels, the width of the three main driving wheels, the total length and the length of the uh, wheels of the Tender. And this was in 2011. This was always with these boxes. You've got the side view there, but if you turn it on like that, then you've got the top view of it there. So let's. It is quite heavy. Before I get it out, let me tell you about the prices. It was 217 pounds and 99 pence, but it was on special offer of 152 pounds and 59 pence. But if you join the hobby rewards. I managed to get 600 points which got me down to £146.59 so between the £217.99 price and £152.59 that was a saving of £65.40 between the saving of the £152.59 price and the £146.59 price that was a saving of six pounds but those two savings together is a total of 71 pounds 40. So that's a lot of money I saved there so let's get her out. Looking quite good. Let's get her out of the box. All important paperwork. I think we've seen this like a zillion times. The general is the operating and maintenance instructions at DC ready running Hints, routine maintenance, lubrication, assembly, how to remove the body, if you want to do close coupling, shows you where to put the chip in, and the brake rods. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, what's in the accessory package? Our brake rods, oh, I've got a few couplings, got some, well, got, well, got one coupling there, and some brake pipes. Well, there seems to be two brake rods, maybe one for. Oh, maybe one's a spare, maybe, perhaps. Anyway, let's move on. And there she is. Had a quick look. Very well built. Can't see any glue marks. Let's take a look at, close look at the uh, cab. We've got very fine, it's all been painted. You can see all the dials, all the pipe work, the brake rod. There's so even a little seat just there. I think there's two seats. Very fine detail in the brake in the uh, cab there. Let's do up close and personal. That looks like that's made out of plastic. I don't think that's metal. Got a very nice handlebar there. Handrail. Got spring buffers. I think that comes standard these days. I think that thing. Not too sure. The coal might come out. Maybe not, but I mean, it looks pretty good, the coal. Got a nice ring around the 
chimney there. Nearly just see the other side look like okay, there's a small gap underneath there, which is supposed to be there. Very fine detail all over it. On the front there, you can just see a little hook coupling there if you want to use it, but you can also, that's what that spare coupling is for. So you can actually add a coupling to the front as well. Got a very nice smoke door there. Very nice curves there. I think the whistle's plastic as well. Very nice lining it's got all the way around it. And the cab area and the tender and around the wheels. So that's going to give it a quick test run along my JJ's test, test track. Right, I'm now on my test track. I normally start at that end, but I'm trying to do something different. I'm going to start at the far end rather than starting at the near end. That went well. Right, let's try the slow test. I put the controller onto low, so I don't know how much difference this will make. Turning it down a bit more. In reverse. Oh. Don't know why it's cut out there for some reason. And let's put it into high mode on the controller. Keeps on cutting out. I'm not kind of sure what kind of motor she's got inside. Let's find out. Well I've done, I've turned up the controls for full volume or full power. I'm going to put it in, pull the plug straight out again and then see how fast or how quickly or what distance it's done. Didn't stop, quick, well it did stop but quickly. Do this again. 
I don't think it's got a fly wheel in it. I think it's just the sliding. You do this one more time. No, I don't think it's got a fly wheel in it. Anyway, let's take it upstairs now and do it on my main. Hello, and welcome to Midland Monsell Model Railway, the Triple MR. For sure. Last test. It has got tender pickups. Well that's my little review of the uh, Lodestar Great Western. I suddenly realised I've inadvertently bought this Loco which is the same as this Loco. The only difference is that is a newer version of this Loco. There's only a few slight differences like cab window. See there's a cab window there but there, it's been filled in there. Turn this loco round, but for the coupling rods are slightly different from that there to those there. They're a bit different. Even though there is a gap there, there's something red, not sure what underneath there is. Obviously that, that's called kernel hole, that's called load star, that's 4003 and that's 5934. And it says Great Western there. And that just says GWR. This one's got quite a nice red and black lining, like even around the wheels on the tender. And that's got two bands on it. Each of those bands got two little bands on them. This one hasn't got double lining stripes on it. There's no stripes on the wheels. And each of these bands only one. And then with the cab detail, it hasn't been painted inside, but with new on it, it has. Roof on here is slightly longer, goes back further. This one doesn't. Coal slightly different. That's all coal like, that's all like plastic like. I, mean, I think you get the idea. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.